everyone, I'm Maggie Weldon from maggiescrochet.com and I wanted to introduce you to four Easter projects that I have for you. One is Lola the Bunny and this is made with Deborah Norville worsted weight yarn which is called Everyday and the color possibilities are endless for this. And the second one is a large Easter basket that you see here. And this was made, I'm thinking, with Deborah Norville Everyday Yarn. And in the video, I actually show you how to make it with Everyday uh, Serenity Chunky. So you don't be afraid to mix and match your colors because the possibilities become endless then and you can come up with a lot of uh, really great things. And that leads me into our eggs that you see here. I used um, several different Premier yarns to make each egg. Um, this one was made with Deborah Norville Serenity, uh, no, Deborah Norville Everyday Yarn. And these are knitted eggs, and that's a separate um, pattern that's going to be available where you see the crocheted eggs. And then for this one, I used um, Deborah Norville Serenity Baby Yarn. And then this one, I wanted to see what hipster would look like. So we made this one out of hipster. And you can make these, they have a drawstring at the top, you could fill them with candy and then, um, you know, put this together and then draw it on the top. You could leave them empty and leave a long string and hang them um, from a little tree that you paint white, perhaps. And the grass in this basket is the Premier Yarns uh, Mary yarn, so it creates a cute little grass effect. And last but not least are my little Easter baskets that I made. And I used to have a crocheter and she would make a whole bunch of these and fill them with jelly beans and give them out to the um, her friends at church and her friends here at Maggie's Crochet. <laughs> so that was a lot of fun. So um, the yarns that you could use are endless. There's um, afternoon cotton for the eggs uh, would look good. You could even use a jewelry type yarn which is spangle. That would be really pretty. Um, there's a lot of colors in Deborah Norville um, Everyday Yarn. You could use Eversoft Yarn. And then there's a lot of hipster colors. And then the Cuddle Fleece, you could use um, all the various colors for the little baskets because that's the yarn I use for the baskets. And that works out really good for the baskets because the um, sides come out really firm. So anyway, all of these are going to be in separate videos, and this is, uh, if you're watching one of these, be sure that you watch all of them. So I hope that you have a great Easter, and I hope these projects add a lot of fun to it. Here's a close-up of the knitted Razzle Dazzle Easter eggs, and now I'm going to show you the crocheted version. So to make the crocheted version, I'm going to use a standard size plastic egg, and I'm going to open it up and what I want you to do is to have your beginning circle match this the size of this circle so to do so we're just going to chain two I'm using a size K crochet hook or J would work fine also and then I just chain two and then I work six single crochets into the second chain from hook So there's my six, and then I'm going to take a contrasting piece of yarn, and I'm going to just lay it between my last stitch and my next stitch, my first stitch, my last stitch of round one, and my first stitch of round two. So now I'm going to let that just lay there and get sandwiched between these two the next stitch in the previous stitch. So now I'm going to work two single crochets in each single crochet around and then I will have 12 single crochets on round two. Now I can pull my the end on my starting chain to close up that hole, which is what I want to do. So 
So now you count from the marker over and you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So what I want you to do now is match it to the bottom wide part of your egg. And right now it's like exactly the same shape and that's what I'm looking for right there. If yours is smaller, if it's just a little bit larger, don't worry about it. But if it's smaller, you can just increase a couple uh, more single crochets until you get the right width. Maybe um, 14, 15, 16 single crochets, whatever you need to do to make sure that that is the same size as the bottom of your egg right there. Okay, so now I don't need my marker anymore. I'm just going to crochet even all the way around. I don't join or anything and I'm just going to keep crocheting until this is long enough to completely cover my egg. So that's all there is to it. I have single crochet all the way around until the cover fits over my egg and I've got this much space left um, to cover up, but when I pull this together for a drawstring, it'll fill that space in. So I'm going to take this off of my egg. I can pull out my marker strand. And so this is my last single crochet that I just did. So to end it, I just want to slip stitch in the next stitch. So just drop a loop and bring that through the loop on my hook. And then I'm going to chain one and I'm going to tighten the back of the chain right there. And then I'm going to leave a long end for sewing and I'm going to cut like back here. And then I'm going to pull that strand all the way through and it'll lock. Then I'm not going to worry about this end of my, um, on my starting chain. I'm just going to push it down there. And then I'm going to put my egg in there. And I have a couple of options here. I could just take a strand of this yarn and put it on a yarn needle and just weave it in and out each single crochet like that. And then just tie it in a bow when I, it reaches the other side. And here's, or when I, when I reach the other side, I could just make like a loop at the top. So I'll leave room and make a little loop like that when I get it all the way around. And that's what I did on this egg right here. I just sewed it all the way around and then left I uh, secured a loop there. Or, let me pull this out here. Um, we're going to take this off the needle here. Okay, the other option is to just do a chain and weave that through the last single crochets and then tie a bow with a chain. And then the next one I'm going to show you is to just thread a yarn needle and just weave that through. Use your long end and just weave that through the stitches. Let me do this right handed here. For some of you, you'll be seeing it left-handed. Okay, so you just go all the way around. And this is when you want to just close up the egg and have it stay in there without filling it up or anything. So when you get all the way back to the beginning, you just pull it tight like this. And at this point, if you want to make a hanger, you could just pull it up like this and go across to the other side and just secure a loop at the top. Like this. Just hold your loop up like this 
and then come back over here on the other side and just keep going like this until you have a loop for hanging. Like that. Or either that or you could have just, um, you know, closed it up and left it that way just like these are. So that's how you create this adorable little Easter egg and crochet. So there's a lot of colors available in the um, Chunky Serenity yarn. So um, the possibilities are endless. You can use the multicolors or solid colors or mix and match and they'd make adorable little gifts or little treats for the little ones. Thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe to our channel and links to everything are listed below.